Hey you guys, it's been so long since I posted. It feels really weird to talk to the camera right now. Um, anyways, today's video is very important and I need you guys to take this seriously. With summer here, it's like, okay, I have all this free time. What do I do now, you know? And that was me like this past week. This is my first week of summer. I'm just like, like I have all this time I'm like, yeah, I work, but like, what, but like, what do I do with the other time? Like, I just have so much extra time. So, literally planned out yesterday in my journal what I want to do this summer, what I want to accomplish, how I'm going to do it, and make and optimize the most I can of my summer. So, because I do not want the summer to go to waste. I hate when the end of summer comes and I'm like, oh, like, I planned to do this. I wanted to do all this, and now... It's gone. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I didn't do what I told myself I wanted to. And it's honestly just so annoying. Like, this happens to me every summer. I'm like, I said I was going to read. I said I was going to do this. And I don't do it. But that's not going to happen this summer. We want to utilize it and optimize and make the most that we can out of it and be successful with it. Because summertime, it's when we're not stressed. It's when we can relax a little bit more and do what we love. Do what we're passionate about. So let's take advantage of it while we're at it. So, I am making this video because I want you guys to optimize your summer as well. I want you guys to make the most out of it, whether, I don't know, if it's just to work as much as you can or if it's to, I don't know, learn. Honestly, it's up to you, whatever you're doing this summer. Just don't sit around all day inside or even on your off days. Don't just sit around because you deserve a break. Go for it. Go get it. We don't take breaks out here, okay? <laughs> I'm being serious though. So basically, what I want to do this summer, I want to make YouTube videos. So I'm just going to start it. My reason before was that I didn't like the quality of my videos, but I have a camera now. And once I find a good editing system, I will start doing that. But for now, my phone will do. It'll get me there. It'll get me going, get me started. Um, so yeah, this summer, I want to make YouTube videos, fitness related. Um, educating you guys on proper exercise techniques, nutrition, recipes, all the good stuff, everything that I love to do and talk about. Um, I want to get more clients this summer at my gym so I can start training them. So I wrote down ways like that I could do that. And then um, another goal is just to discipline myself on a whole nother level. So basically what I'm going to do about that is just continue to do what I don't want to do, which is like going and doing cardio, like waking up and fixing my bed in the morning, reading in the morning. Um, well, I actually enjoy reading in the morning, so, but at first I never wanted to do that. So I had to discipline myself for like a good three months just to read every single morning and now I love it. Um, and it's just doing like the little things that, I'm, that I get like lazy about that I'm like, Ugh, like I don't want to do it and then I don't do it. So just the little things make a big difference when it comes to disciplining yourself it's like if you say you're gonna wake up at 7 a.m and then you click the snooze then you kind of failed because you didn't wake up when you told yourself you wanted to so it's little things like that like not clicking snooze just doing things i don't want to do getting out of my comfort you know so i'm gonna have i'm gonna create a bigger list of ways to discipline myself but this summer i think it's just the perfect time to work on that because I don't have other stressors in my life, like school, which makes a big difference. And then the next thing I wanna do this summer is help as many people as I can fall in love with working out and more importantly, just working on themselves. And my method of doing that is training people, being a personal trainer. Um, I am a NASM certified personal trainer in National Academy of Sports Medicine is what it stands for. So I went through all of that, studied for the certification, I passed, I am now certified, and literally did all that during this past semester just so that I could be a personal trainer and help people work out on a professional level because before I didn't have my certification, it was like I technically shouldn't be training people, but I love doing it, so I'm going to do it anyway, um, but now I can do it and... I love I love training people. Um, I have one client so far and she's been doing amazing and 
seeing how good people feel after they work out is just something I want everyone to experience the way I feel after I work out and when I feel good in my body and my health I want every single person in the world to feel like that so literally this summer I just want to make as many people happy with their training with working out with their lives with their hap like with their happiness <laughs> you know what I mean I just want to reach out to as many people as I can so I was like YouTube is a perfect platform for that because I can reach people across the world. Like, you never know who's watching, not just people in my area. Um, so, that's one way of doing it. Um, the other thing I have on here is I literally, like, wrote in caps. I literally want people to be happy and love this beautiful life that they have been blessed with because I can... Like, I've been doing so much self-development self development recently um, because I realize, like, I know that everything is just mental. Everything is in your head. Any struggles you're going through, any obstacles you face, whether you're able to conquer it or not, or whether you fall back, it's all mental. And I know some people actually have, like, mental disorders, you know, like depression or, um, like, anxiety and people with like eating disorders like those are disorders and that just shows how everything is mental everything starts in your head so wherever you're at right now don't ever doubt yourself that you cannot overcome those struggles just keep fighting it every day keep working that subconscious mind your conscious mind anything just keep feeding it with good things and positive words affirmations i don't do that but i know it's helped people um I don't know what religion you are, but maybe pray and just be confident, just be happy with the life you and just take, just have a different perception on life. So that's just one thing that I want to do this summer. Just like, I just want people to be happy and realize that like, if you work on your mentality through self-development, reading books, just writing in a journal every day, just feeding yourself with positive thoughts and you can make those little changes every single day. And in the end, like think about it from like a year now, you will be a different person. You will feel a different way. You will have a different outlook on life. And I just want everyone to realize that that's possible and that it can happen. And of course, working out is like the number one thing to mentally like make you feel better. Um, there's like a whole, there's so much science behind the effect that exercise has on brain function. But there's so many videos out there, so much research out there about the effects of exercise on mental health. Um, it's not just all physical and how you look, but yeah, so that was kind of a rant, but those are my goals for this summer. Those are my intentions. So every day going to wake up, do what I got to do, reading, doing research on exercise and health things of today. So I stay up to date. Um, I just want to get more clients so I can train as many people as I can, um, and just keep offering you know i just want to contribute to this world to the health of people to the happiness of people and that literally like fuels a fire in me like i'm so passionate about that that's like that makes me so happy that's all i want to do so i was like this summer i'm not going to have days where i just relax and chill like no i'm gonna get it every single day i'm gonna get in my workouts, my cardio, my meals. I'm going to meal prep. I'm not going to be lazy. I'm not going to make money as an excuse for not being able to um, make my health a priority. And I'm going to make YouTube videos so I can share what I'm passionate about with you guys and give you guys this knowledge. Um, yeah, you guys heard what I said. So those are my goals for this summer. And I hope you guys create a list or just start writing what you want to do this summer, how you're going to do it. Create, Make some goals, but don't let the summer go to waste because we know how we feel by the end. We are like, oh my God, why did I literally, like I told myself I was going to do this and then you don't follow through and it makes you piss. I know I've been there, done that, and I'm not going to let it happen this summer. So this is what I'm doing right now to change that and to make sure that does not happen. That by the time school comes back around, ew, I don't even want to think about it, that I feel like I made the most out of the summer that I made a difference so that's all I have to say for today I'm just gonna post this straight up and I will post some workout videos health videos but I just wanted to give you guys an update on my life what I'm doing um, but yeah so oh 
And also, I am majoring in kinesiology at the school I go to, in case you guys are wondering, if you didn't know. Because I keep talking about, like, school, but I don't mention what I'm doing. Kinesiology is exercise science. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a, a great day. I will upload soon. Maybe a workout video, recipe video, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, thank you for taking your time and watching this. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. But yeah, bye guys.